Hey there guys, in this video we are looking at Caption.Ninja, Caption Ninja. Now this is a tool that lets you convert speech into text. It transcribes it for the purpose of closed captions, mainly for live video, putting uh, text overlays on top of live video. It also has uh, additional modes like manual entry mode. It's available on GitHub for download, so if you want to really customize it, you can do that. And it has additional functionality that um, allows it to be pretty flexible. Now to use it, we just go to caption.ninja. The site's automatically going to generate a room for us and give us language English, but we can change the room and change the language if we want to just by modifying the URL. So I just changed the room I'm in to Steve's room. There's a link here. Uh, if we open this up into a new tab, this is where the, the output will go. And this is where the input is coming from. So I speech, I speak into this tab and it appears in this window. If nothing happens when you're here, make sure you accept the microphone permissions and then also make sure that you have your microphone selected, the correct one, and then just refresh the page. And now we can see that the uh, page is automatically converting my speech into text. And it does that in real time with very low lat latency. If I go to this page, you'll see that everything is mirrored on the secondary page, which is pretty awesome. And we can copy this link and we can paste this in to a application like OBS for the purpose of overlays. So the way we do that, plus browser, we can paste our link in here, the overlay link. We set a width of 1280, uh, let's say a height of 120. And now we have this and, you know, we can put that here at the bottom. And now as I talk, you'll have the text appear. And we can go here and give you an example of how it might look like in a professional situation, right? So you can have a talking head and real time transcriptions under the bottom. Uh, if you go back here, you know, we can move this around and all that fun stuff. Back on this page, um, you'll see that it just scrolls on forever. If we want to go to a manual mode, we just have to replace this with manual. We can change our room name again. Steve's room. We don't, we don't have to change it. We can just use a random one. Uh, and just, uh, I have OBS still open. I'll just um, move the captioning to the top and I'll just say test. Right, so in OBS, um, in OBS we have the caption, hello, and we can see that we can get the captions manually entered and it appears in OBS. It will, we can also have it appear obviously in a tab. So here, and it appears here. You can have multiple people entering text at the same time. So person two, it appears here, right? Um, we have OBS open, so I can just go here. I can also go here. So I can have multiple people doing manual entry, and it will all go to the same overlay. So that's kind of neat. Um, I'm going to go back to the main page. I'm going to disable my microphone. I'll just refresh. Now, you know, we can go here and we can change languages. Um, there's a lot of languages listed. Arabic, Armenian, Chinese, Dutch, right? And you can just grab any of these and replace this little value to have the transcription work for that particular language. Uh, if we go to GitHub, we'll see that there's lots of additional options. So the code is available for download, how to use it, how to use it with OBS. If we want to um, stylize the text, uh, we can do that. The way we do it is we go here, we open up the browser source, and we enter in to the browser source CSS area our little uh, element, uh, our style sheet, let's call it. 
and we can customize this to be different sizes, font size, for example, is here, spacing, color, font, and then hit OK. And our uh, text as an overlay in OBS will now be updated based on that style sheet. Languages we talked about. If you're concerned about privacy, things like that, uh, all the text that is uh, provided in, in Caption Ninja goes through a WebSocket server, and that's how it's transmitted through the internet. If you want to host your own, you can do that. I provide code here, all right? So you can host your own WebSocket server, or you can use a third-party provider like PySocket, and I show how you can do that with the Py command, Py, and the API key that you get from PySocket. So, so you can work independently of Caption Ninja if you want. We talked about manual man, uh, manual entry mode, and so the link's there for that. Um, if you have any problems with Caption Ninja, you can go to my Discord channel. Uh, it's discord.obs.ninja. And you can, yeah, um, just poke me. I'm Steve, and I'll be more than happy to help you with Caption Ninja. Uh, I guess one last thing I'll talk about is I have another tool called the Electron Capture app. You can download it over here, right? Windows and PC. And when you open up the app, it looks like this. Now, the idea here is if we wanted to, um, we can right click it and we can pin it on top, we can resize it, but we can essentially use this as a way of uh, sending notes and messages to people. So for example, if I go to the manual room, uh, I take this link, right? I copy the link. I open up the uh, electron capture app and I paste in this overlay link and I hit go. I can maybe you know, resize it. I can right click and say pin on top, put it where I want. And now when I type into the app, uh, it appears as an overlay. So you can use this as, a, as an easy way to send messages to a remote guest and they can see what you're typing or, or what you're saying. So that's just a neat app. This lets you pin messages. So you don't have to use it for uh, live streaming. You can use it for sending messages to people. Uh, yeah, and so the Electron Capture app is also on my repository, uh, just Electron Capture. Okay, so I hope that was a good tutorial on Caption Ninja. If you want uh, even more controls, more power, you can look at my video.ninja service. It also has live transcription built into it, as well as live video, live audio, and infinitely more features. But this is a, a very simple, um, easy to, to edit version designed just for captions. Okay, uh, hopefully that was helpful. Bye guys.